Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things luxury, skincare, dogs, hunting, dog showing, and going crazy. So if you're interested in any of that, then keep on watching. Today's video, I am going to be doing a really fun luxury unboxing for you. That's right, baby, because I got myself a pair of boots. Now, it's, it was, okay, they're my birthday boots and there's a story behind them. So let me get into this unboxing with you. If you're new here, hi, my name is Morgan. I mostly review luxury skincare. I also share any luxury purchase that I make. I share it with you guys because we just love that here. This is a safe space. This isn't a place to be like judging people on how they wanna spend their money and like being like rude and, and judgmental. Like we don't like that on this channel. I don't wanna hear your noise. I don't care. Like, because probably it's either jealousy or it's just being a hater. And like, there's no one worse than a hater. Ugh, like I, I can't even, they're so destructive in your life, haters. That's the problem. Haters are very destructive in your life. And you gotta, you gotta get rid of a, a hater. I mean, it's not just a phrase, hater. Like it's like somebody needs to call the cops, get this hater away from me. So that's really the outlook of my channel. But let's get started. I provide a safe space for all luxury lovers and people, and not just luxury lovers, people that value quality and make it a point to spend their money on, um, you know, beauty products, fashion products, you know, into the animal showing world. I mean, that's a, that's an expense altogether, you know, and it's really where you want to spend your money and how and why, and it's your personal preference. And I accept everybody for what they choose to really invest their money in. And like, um, I quite frankly, I respect those types of people. Anyway, I bought a new pair of boots on my birthday, October 25th. I know it's December that I'm viewing, I'm showing this to you and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. But I stopped in Jimmy Choo and I bought myself a pair of boots. So we're gonna open them and then I'm gonna tell you guys the story. So we're gonna pop it open. And we love a good Jimmy Choo box. We're never getting rid of the Jimmy Choo boxes. We're never getting rid of any expensive, expensive shoe boxes because at nine times out of 10, they're gonna give you really nice storage. You wanna keep the original packaging, the original boxing, one for um, care um, for the life of the item and two, you know, these are expensive items, so if you ever do want to, like, resell them after you're kind of done with them, it's always really important to have original packaging, original receipts, original everything. There's so many fakes going on out there that stuff like this really matters in the resale market. Then you have the cute Jimmy Choo tissue paper, and then you have the Morgan Specials. <laughs> I've worn them a couple times already because I had to get them on my feet. But oh my God, oh my God. When I saw these in person, you guys, no joke. I was like, yo, I need them. I need them. So, okay, here's the other one. I'm so sorry Pixie's barking in the background. I have a little pug, Pekingese mix, and she's very verbal about her beliefs and what goes on in, in, in the neighborhood outside. So um, I let her express that because um, it's very important for her to express herself as a young little peak. I saw these boots online, right? First of all, I loved the color, right? They say JC on the sides, and then on the back, they spell out Jimmy Choo on each boot, which I think is just so bougie and extra and luxurious. And I love to be bougie, extra and luxurious. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Just kind of like how people listen to country music all the time and live that country lifestyle. Like more power to you, you know? I like to live the bougie lifestyle. So, okay, then you see like all these really beautiful crystals like right here, like um, when you lace up your boots, that's all like pretty shiny crystals. You have a suede upper and then kind of like a nylon exterior that's kind of iridescent, which gives the boot its style. But honestly, the best part about these boots are the colors, this beautiful powdered pink boot. like. Oh my God, and my advice to you, oh, here's the bottoms too, if you wanna see them. They have a really beautiful grip, thick, 
They have a lot of, you know, you know, a lot of traction going on. Would I say they're the warmest, warmest winter boots? No, they're definitely more of a fall boot. Like, it's like, what kind of leather? It's leather lining on the interior. So that's always nice for quality reasons. But it, there's no, like, wool or anything in there really insulating your foot for really cold temperatures. It really, I think, would be a beautiful spring fall boot, even summer, if you're delivering a message, if you're sending sending out a real fashion statement where you just feel like you need to wear boots in the summer, I think that's still iconic too. But so anyway, what caught my eye was of course the pink, and then I saw the Jimmy Choo, then I saw the crystals online, and I was like, I really love those boots. Those boots are nice. I, you know, of course social media starts recommending the boots to me over and over and over. And guys, this is important because a lot of you guys ask me this and I want to say this before I forget. I am a, a true US size seven, true. Like I am a seven. These boots do run small and they run narrow. I have a very narrow foot and these are like kind of almost perfect on my foot, if not a little, a little narrow, the tiniest bit. Um, I'm still able to wear socks with them, it's okay, but I did order them a half a size up. So I ordered a seven and a half, but at the number of the size would be, if you're on the Jimmy Choo website, is 37 and a half. Um, and that is absolutely correct. Do not order these in your regular size. Definitely at least go a half a size up. If you want heavy winter socks with them, go a full size up. That's really important because I do have Jimmy Choo heels and I'm a true size seven in and they fit me fantastic. They're my favorite heels to wear, um, but these definitely run a little snug. So my biggest complaint about these boots, here's my biggest complaint and it's not even the boots fault. First of all, I bought these on an impulse on my birthday. I had went to the mall to buy skincare. I actually went to the mall to buy La Mer on my birthday because of course, right? That's what I would do. When I was passing the Jimmy Choo Boutique, I honestly was like, oh, I wanna see those boots. I wanna see what those pink boots look like in person, right? Oh. Well, of course, I see them and I, you know, next thing you know, I'm drinking champagne and we're laughing and we're having a good time trying on shoes. And then it's like, I gotta get them. They were, they're under a thousand dollars, which in the luxury shoe world, that's, that's actually really nice and really good. So I couldn't buy them and bring them home that day. I had to um, order my size because at the time these were really selling out. My size was hard to get at the time. So had to order them in. These do come in men. Um, they come in brown in men, they come in black in, in men, and same with women's. They come in those colors. I think, I think there's a white color, and um, I just wanted to mention that in case you wanted to like match with your partner and be chic together, or if you just didn't want pink boots, I completely understand. Um, so I bought them. When they came in, my biggest complaint, and it's a big one, I was lacing, so you see this, it says JC here, right? When I laced it, because you're supposed to crisscross the lace, right? You're supposed to kind of go like this and then tie the boot up here. When I did that for the first time, this broke off, broke off. And I have a picture of it and I was like, I never wore the boot. I was literally putting them on for the first time and this part fell off in the palm of my hand and I was just like, I was appalled. I was like, I had a whole outfit picked. I was spending the night with my cousin in Philly. Like I had a whole outfit planned out. I had a hat and everything. And that happened. So I immediately contacted my sales associate. And of course he was like, oh my God, like get, I, like get these to me immediately. They need to be fixed. I need to see them. Like he was mortified and he was like super supportive of me. And of course I was a little like angry, you know, cause who like when you buy luxury, you expect luxury, you expect no hassle, you expect perfection, you know, pretty much. And that wasn't the case with these at first. So I was definitely put off. Um, but a good sales associate's gonna, gonna help you and make you feel better about the situation. So of course, I actually drove them into the store. I didn't even wanna put them in the mail. I was like, I'm gonna drop these babies off myself. Um, 
they took them right away. They had them fixed in under a week and um, I got them back and I've been wearing them and I haven't had a problem since, but I still don't recommend you being really hard on this. I mean, it does stick out a fair deal and you know, whatever's keeping this connected to the boot, I'm sure, you know, it's very decorative in its use. It's, you know, and I think decorations, like might not be as sturdy. I still don't think that's an excuse for Jimmy Choo. And the only thing else I have to say about Jimmy Choo, and it's not really that good. I have had quality issues with two other pairs, okay? And the first pair I had the quality issue with was um, a pair of high heels that I bought for my wedding years ago. And when they got delivered and I wore them for my shower to break them in, the sole, like the interior, um, the bottom of the interior completely came off and peeled down. The shoes were big on me to begin with. So, you know, I don't know if that happened. And then another time when I ordered a pair of shoes, they came in and there was like on the heel, there was like a scuff mark. And they totally were like, no, great, you know, return them to us. We'll send you a new pair if we have the size and we'll give you a full refund. Like Jimmy Choo, they're not bad with that, but I do have to point out at this point that this is the third shoe that I've had quality issues with. Once they address the issue, you don't have problems again. I'm just a little shocked by that. I don't see those issues happening in Hermes. I don't see, I haven't had issues with Chanel, uh, Dior. You know, this is the only brand, Prada, I haven't had an issue with any of those brands. I mean, this is the only brand that I've really ever had quality issues with. So I don't wanna like totally shred Jimmy Choo, but I also wanna point that out because you guys are my subscribers and I do want you guys to have the full tea. I'm not really, I don't work for Jimmy Choo, you know? I kinda, I'm here for myself and then I, you know, I'm here for you guys and I just don't think that's fair to not tell that story. But the way they responded to the issues were very good. Um, I did get frustrated at times where I wanted to just completely return them, but I, I don't know, I just stuck with it. I already bought them and yeah, anyway, um, the, the sales associate did work with me a lot and to make the, the issue better for me. So, okay, that's my story. My advice to you would be um, get the pink ones. What, get the pink one, whatever that is in life. You really want a, 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 you know, a new bag, like a really nice bag? Don't be scared to get the pink one. You want, you want a really, really cool pair of boots and they come in pink? Don't be scared to get the pink boots, the pink shoes, the pink scarf, the pink pants, the pink anything. Like, people always want to be safe when they buy big purchases. And that's something that I was kind of doing. And actually, no, my first big luxury purchase was my pink Chanel. Is she here? <laughs> Come here, baby. No, she's, I don't know where she is. She's packed away. That was my first purchase. And honestly, it set the tone for the rest of my life in the luxury market because I've had so much fun. And these are a luxury. They are a luxury to own. So you want to really enjoy stuff like this. I really enjoy these, you know? And, and, and I think it's always safe to say, don't be afraid to get the white ones either because of dirty or whatever. You take care of your stuff. You don't trash it. Um, and I also, my next piece of advice to you would be, uh, don't be scared to wear your luxury items. Don't be scared to take them out of the box and take them out in public. Um, so many times I've, I've, I've talked to people that buy themselves really beautiful items and they don't, they don't wear them because they're too scared. They want to keep them in such pristine, pristine condition because they treated themselves to a luxury item that they're too scared to wear them. And really, what's the point? If you're saving them for your kids, which I think is adorable and something that, you know, you, you people should do. If you're saving them for that, chances are you're not even going to be in style by that. <laughs> like, don't be afraid to wear your nice stuff. And um, when people ask you where, are you going to wear that? Tell them the freaking grocery store. That's my response to people. I wear them at the grocery store. I'll wear them when I'm vacuuming the floors. That's when I'm gonna wear them because I don't need a reason to wear my luxury things. I wanna feel something every time I walk out the door and I think luxury items make me feel that, especially when you knock it out of the park and get the color you really, really, truly want in your heart. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. These are 40% off now on Jimmy Choo website um, for the holidays. Stay on that. 
Uh, I'm sure they're gonna go, they're going fast. I don't even know if they're still available, so I'll link them below. I'll also link all the other colors below, and I'm gonna try to remember to link the mat, the male shoes below too, just in case you want them in, in um, your size if you're a guy, because I think that's dope too. I'd love to buy myself, I'd like to buy my husband the matching pairs of, to these, but I, I don't think he'd wear them. Anyway, I love you guys. Stay tuned. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. Um, if you're new here, hi, I love you. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And follow me on Instagram, and I love you, babies. Bye.